Hey everyone, the name is Chris Parochi. Welcome to my channel. This is a very special episode of Licks with Chris. Some of you guys have probably seen my video I put out this year in March, it was March 2019, where we visited um, a vintage guitar store here in Germany. The Thoman guys and I together we went to uh, this place. Guitar Point is an awesome vintage store. We shot out a couple of videos too for the Thoman channel and uh, I also shot a vlog for my channel where I got to play a couple of incredible guitars, really unbelievable guitars. And uh, in case you want to watch those um, videos, I'll put all these links in the description box under this video. Also, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do it right away or just uh, check out all the infos in the description box underneath the video. Now, why am I mentioning this trip to Guitar Point and these videos? Well, I'm playing a certain 1960s Les Paul, a burst uh, in those videos. I just uh, checked on Instagram and I've seen that Joe Bonamassa just bought a Les Paul, a 60s Les Paul, and not just any 60s Les Paul, that exact burst I got to play when we were at Guitar Point. And that just blew my mind. <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, some fanboying here, but I'm okay with that. You know, I'm a big fan of Joe's and his playing, his music and everything he does for guitar lovers and guitar geeks. So that, that was incredible to see that Joe bought that exact guitar I got to play. This guitar, this specific 60s burst has quite some German history. It arrived in Europe uh, as it looks like in the 70s because in 79 a German guitar player Michael Domas bought the guitar and he owned it till 86 and um, he was a guitar player of a band called Wallenstein which was a sort of a bigger band at that time. I'm not German I had never heard about the band but I know about the guy <laughs> This guitar has these little marks, these inlays in the body, two behind the bridge and one in front, um, like triangular little inlays, which are there because there was a um, tremolo on the guitar, which was already gone when he bought it. So in 79, these inlays were already there. So I thought to myself, this is gonna be a perfect moment to check out one of Joe Bonamassa's favorite shred licks. Uh, something that he plays quite often. It's one of his million licks, obviously. What is this lick? It's a minor pentatonic lick. What a surprise! And uh, what's happening here is that you play three strings in a row and then you jump back one string. So we're in the key of E and um, E minor obviously and we start uh, on the 15th of the E string 15th 12th then jump to the B string 15th 12th then on the G string 14th and 12th so da -da 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 -da. then we jump back one string and do the same thing from the B string so 15 12 14 12 14 12 then uh, from the D string we jump back again, just one string, so on the G string, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12. On the A, and then things change a little bit. We jump back to the D string, so again, 14th and 12th, then uh, A string, 14, 12th, and then slide down, basically move down to the 10th fret, and uh, you will pick that as well, so it's alternate picking all the time. And then uh, with the ring, ring finger you can jump on the uh, 12th fret of the 6th string and do this sort of a slide. And the rest is something I just put at the end, you know, to have some sort of a musical ending to it, which was just 3rd um, fret, pull off on 0. And then um, the octave, the D string, two zero, two zero, hammer and pull off, hammer and pull off, with the uh, tone pot 
you know, just sort of rolled back as if it was a wah or something. <laughs> So again, real slow, E string, first string, 15, 12, B string, 15, 12, G string, 14, 12, then we jump back, B string, 15, 12, G string, 14, 12, D string, 14, 12, jump back again, G string, 14, 12, D string, 14, 12, A string, 14, 12, then we jump back again, and this is the last part, which is a little different. D string 14 12, A string 14 12, 10, and then we jump on the sixth string, uh, string 12 on the E and do the slide down, and then E string pull off, and the octave comes on the D string, it's gonna be 2 and 0 with the uh, hammer on pull offs. This is how it sounds again, slower. Again in tempo. If you're interested in the videos I've mentioned in the beginning of this video where I'm playing this 60s burst, uh, just you know check out the description box. I have the, the links in there. It's such a, a special guitar. It was one of um, those days in my life I will never forget, obviously. And the story is even funnier now that I know that Joe will play the guitar. It's crazy. I mean, um, Joe, in case you're watching this, I'm sure you don't, but in case, um, love you, dude, and have fun with the guitar. <laughs> Okay guys, take it easy. Meet you down in the comment section. Don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the bell and hit like if you liked this video. See you very soon. Bye.